on YouTube, welcome back to Eastside RC. Today, y'all, we are going to discuss idle tuning for carburetors, whether it be a 990-1107, the WJ-71, the new WJ-146, or a HDA-223. No matter what carburetor it is, I'm going to show you guys how to set the idle, what to do, what not to do, and we're going to take a look at those points. It's not super critical, but y'all, I've been getting asked once a week at least sometimes twice a week about the idle, okay? In regards to my tuning video that I made about a year ago on carburetor tuning, I, I briefly touched on the idle and I didn't really go into, into too much detail to it. So today I'm gonna go into detail on the idle tuning for you guys. So let's get over to the table and get right at it. All right, guys, like I said, it doesn't matter what carburetor, WJ71, HDA 223 WT 1107 or WT 990. It doesn't matter. I'm going to show you guys, and break it down for y'all real simple what to do with your idle. All right. First things first, we're going to use, we're going to use the old 1107 for demonstration. Now, the first thing, what you don't want to do is bury the idle screw all the way down tight and use the low speed needle as your idle adjustment, okay? That is exactly what you do not want to do. That, what that does is that simulates a vacuum leak, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys why it simulates a vacuum leak. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Okay, see that hole right there? That little orifice, all right? That's the only one you want opened up, okay? Watch what happens when you bury the idle screw. Okay, look, we're gonna tighten it all the way down until it stops. Look in there, see the second orifice hole opened up? That is no bueno, S.A., all right? You do not want that second orifice hole opened up. Now you're past the idle circuit, all right? Not good. That is not what you want. So the butterfly is too far open at the top there, and you're into the other circuit. Not good, guys. Not good, okay? So now that we know what not to do, let's focus on what to do. All right, so how do we set the idle? Well, the first thing you want to do is back your screw all the way out, okay? Get it all the way out. Double check and make sure that the needle is not touching the arm. Okay, see right there? You guys see what I'm talking about? Right there. It's not touching the arm, see? Throttle arm is not getting hit. Now, what you wanna do is to adjust your idle correctly, you simply turn your idle screw in until it moves that arm. Look, there it is. That's it. Your idle set, just like that, okay? So, now that we've got our idle set correctly, when do we adjust the idle? After your tune is set, okay? The idle's not super critical, guys. You want a nice, low pop idle, okay? Like this, listen. That's a nice, low pop idle. And for me, that's still too lean because it didn't cut off after 30 seconds, all right? I like my two strokes to idle for no longer than 30 seconds and shut down. That's an extra fat low from making gobs of power. Then after that low is set, you just simply clean that up with the high, okay? I discussed it in the other video, but we're talking about the idle here. You adjust the idle, after your tune is set, okay? You know you got your tune right, you've done set your low, it's taken off great, 
Then you listen to the high wide open. There's no gurgle. And these two are working in conjunction perfect together. And you know they're set right. And you bring it back. And it's and it's just going ding, 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 ding. And it wants to cut off. Then you crank your idle up a little bit. And once your tune is right, a simple adjustment like this on the idle should make a difference. All right? Okay? If you're sitting there turning your idle screw and it's not making any difference, guess what? Your tune is crap. Okay? So get your tune set right, then do your idle. It's not rocket science, guys. This is a two-needle carburetor, not rocket science. Just like the WJ71 and the HDA over here. Same exact way. You set the idles the same way. You want a nice low idle. All right, y'all. Well, I hope that helped you guys out with the carburetors, man. I hope that clarified the idle adjustment for y'all. It's really simple. It's easy. If you have any other questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments. I'm here to help, man. I'll answer them. I'll get back to you guys, all right? If they get thrown into the uh, help for review comment, they might get uh, answered a little late. That's not my fault. That's YouTube. They've been pretty good about that lately. <laughs> all right, so y'all have a blessed one. I'll catch you on the next one, all right? Eastside RC is out.